This is Fountain Street Church. It's hard to find the best ones, but somehow, like I said, you'll, you'll hear what I'm trying to say even when the words Here, are. we strive to free the mind, grow the soul, and change the world. Here, there is freedom to doubt and freedom to believe. Here, you can find a house of prayer for all people. The Swallow of Jonah. Welcome to Fountain Street Church. Join us on the journey. I want to invite you now into a few moments of silence for prayer, reflection, and meditation by turning towards that which you find most holy. In your mind's eye, in your heart as it opens, I invite you to see an image of yourself standing at a riverbank. Surrounded by all of your possessions, and by your entire family. Across the bank on the other side is your destination. I invite you to see yourself sending all of those people and all of those belongings across the river before you. Standing on that bank to make sure they get across safely. kissing loved ones before they set foot in the water. And once they are all safely across, I invite you to notice the presence of a stranger, not to be feared, a stranger who invites you into a playful wrestling match. And though you may not usually succumb to such invitations, I invite you to imagine yourself wrestling with that stranger. playfully, but still in earnest. When something inside you says it is time now for you to cross the river, you ask the stranger to release you, but they want to wrestle more. And in your debating, you are accidentally struck on the hip, bruised. You demand to be let go, and the stranger offers you a new name, a name meaning that you have wrestled. And then the stranger releases you. And you, with a new name and a new gait, make your way across the river.
Well, it was the middle of the night, and once again, my beeper was going off. Never good when you're on call at a hospital as a chaplain. When I checked the number and made the phone call to find out where I was going, my heart sank even lower because it was to the part of the hospital that I least liked going. It wasn't to the pediatric intensive care. It wasn't to the neonatal intensive care. It wasn't to the psychiatric unit. It was to the rehabilitation and gerontology wing. You see, even though, as Fred says, and as we say in our child dedication rituals, we are most humble before children, for me, I am most humble before seniors. I find myself wondering if I really know anything. Perhaps it's that I someday fear that I might be alone, older, losing my faculties, my mental or physical capabilities. Or perhaps, perhaps it is my humility of inadequacy, fearing that I will never measure up to the lives of those great giants of generations gone before who have done great things. I have felt that sense of humility here at Fountain Street since the first day since walking into this building, seeing the excellence of the architecture and the art, hearing the excellence of the music. And here I am with my folksy music and my informal liturgical style. All year long, Fred and I have been on a journey with you, a journey called A Year in the Life. We've been exploring spiritual development throughout the life cycle. We started out with childhood in the fall and winding up with development, growth, and maturation in later years now here. As with other stages, it bears repeating that the developmental tasks that we experience in this stage of life are not necessarily completely new, but rather they're variations on a theme. 